We begin tonight with the mass shooting in Buffalo Saturday night that killed one teenager and injured five others. 7 News learning today that the victim is 14-year-old Jasmine Fomby, a student at a Buffalo charter school. Her family telling us her smile could light up a whole room. Good evening once again, and we thank you for joining us tonight. Crime Stoppers is offering a $7,500 reward for information that puts the person responsible behind bars. Saturday shooting began just after 11 p.m. in the parking lot of Neighborhood Housing Services on Alexander Place. That's right around the corner from the Jefferson Avenue Top Store, where a mass shooting left 10 people dead nearly two years ago. Six teenagers were shot near what police describe as a house party. 14-year-old Jasmine died at Oshai Children's Hospital. Two 15-year-old boys and a 16-year-old girl were treated at ECMC and released. And another 15-year-old boy is still there fighting for his life, we're told. And the sixth victim was treated at the scene. 7 News is a voice for everyone. And tonight we are uplifting those community members and their shock, grief and heartache after Sunday's, Saturday's tra tragedy. You're going to hear from local activists working every day to bring an end to this gun violence. They tell our senior reporter Eileen Buckley tonight that this violence can impact all of us. Who should be burying their 14 year old child? You know, you want them to live. Community activist Marnetta Malcolm tells me it's heartbreaking to learn 14 year old Jasmine Fomby of Buffalo was killed over the weekend when she and five other teens were shot on Buffalo's east side. What happens on the east side impacts Buffalo. What happens in Buffalo impacts western New York. And by the way, this isn't a Buffalo thing. This is a national thing. You know, you see these type of killings everywhere. It's a cycle of violence that has to be disrupted. Someone who knows the impacts of gun violence firsthand is Garnell Whitfield. He lost his mother two years ago in the Jefferson Avenue top smash shooting. He tells 7 News, shootings like this past weekend have been happening in our community for a long time, defining gun culture and systemic racism. When people don't have an expectation that life is going to be better, different, um, then they resort to violence. They resort to, by any means necessary, trying to, uh, you know, they make bad decisions. So we just got to be adamant about education and about safety, about as far as gun violence. But some organizations like the most valuable parents of Buffalo, known as MVP, work with adults to help families prevent violence. How we combat this is there are a lot of um, resources available, but if they don't know about it, it makes no sense. So we try to provide access and awareness. So whether we get the information, pass it on to the community or whoever may need it in order to get the help they need. But these organization leaders tell me everyone needs to come together. Teens, parents, grandparents, community members, all to help fight gun violence. That unfortunately is a reality for some city teens. If you can mentor a child, if you can get involved, identify maybe an organization that you can go in and help and sit down and talk. It doesn't have to always be money because guess what? who impacted me when I grew up around here were some of the teachers. It's all about positive activities and also pouring into these youth. And if there's no one pouring into them and they have nowhere to go, there's no safe spaces, then you know you have situations where it becomes unsafe. And then we need to ask the children. You just talk to them. You know, they got to be devastated to re repeatedly have to go through this type of trauma. In Buffalo, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.